everybody, I'm Lawana Mayfield. I currently serve you on Charlotte City Council representing District 3. I'm Larkin Eggleston. I'm a newly elected Charlotte City Council member representing District 1. Hi. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mary Belk and I represent District 88 in Charlotte. We are so happy to have you back in Charlotte this year. I'm Charlotte City Councilman Braxton Winston. Hello everyone, I'm Pat Cotham, County Commissioner at Large here in Mecklenburg County. I'm Chaz Beasley, I am a State Representative for District 92 in the North Carolina House of Representatives. I'm Judge John Arrowood from the North Carolina Court of Appeals. As a judge on the Court of Appeals, I am the only openly LGBTQ office holder in a statewide office in North Carolina. My name is Tamara Sheffield and um, I am a Salisbury City Council member. Welcome to Charlotte HRC. I am State Representative Becky Carney. Well, welcome to Charlotte, the Queen City. HRC, good to see you. Looking good. Here's what's going to happen in 2018. We're going to flip a whole bunch of seats. We're going to unlock the governor's veto. We're going to reestablish political balance in North Carolina. And on election night, we all get to stand up and tell the far right, who's been running the state, you are done. It is now over. How about that? And the way that we do that is by working hard, knocking on doors, calling people, spreading the message, because we have values that are worth spreading and a message that's worth sharing. We need your help. You need to vote and make sure that you vote all the way down and elect your judges. I am currently your only openly LGBT elected official. I cannot be your only. So there is someone in this room that's ready to step into office. So take this as your official ask. I am thrilled to have the opportunity to thank you for the support that you gave me in this past campaign. I wouldn't be here if it was not for all the help that I had last year. And I have stood with you and you have stood with me. I've served this community 20 years and you've been right with me every step of the way. And our mission right now should be to get as many people out to the polls in 2018 as possible. These are very critical times and it can be one of those opportunities for us to really show what we're made of. Got to turn North Carolina back to a caring state for everyone. And you all are going to play a huge role in it because you have before in all of our recent successes, you have played an enormous role and we know you're gonna do it again. It is critical that we break the super majority and the majority in both the House and the Senate in Raleigh. We all have to remember that because we had a big win in 2017, we can't lay back on in 2018. We'll never be able uh, to, to produce the type of city uh, that we want if we cannot protect the rights of all people. It's not just about dressing up and having a wonderful evening. It's also about getting a clipboard, getting people registered to vote, knocking on doors, and you're so good at that. And we're counting on it. And we're looking forward to celebrating with you again when we next time on election night. Together we rise. Together we rise. Together we rise. Together we rise. Remember. Together we rise. 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 And we dance too. We dance too. <laughs> <laughs> together we dance and together we rise. And I'm probably in a tuxedo somewhere around here. <laughs> <laughs>